Yo, whether you watching this from Facebook, Twitter, click the link in my Instagram, or YouTube itself. What up, world? Uh, so I got this Eminem, man. It's called Revival. It's been out a couple weeks. I think that's enough time for everybody that wants to hear it to have heard it. Uh, it's 19 tracks, one intro, one interlude. So it's it's 17 songs. Um, you got features like Beyonce, of course, Alicia Keys, Ed Sheeran, X Ambassadors, Pressure, Fresher. I don't know how to enunciate dude's name. It's it's spelled all all hip. Um, and it, Eminem has come with this format that I like to call the, the J. Cole equation where the, the, the album is announced and then two weeks, a month later, it's, it's on shelves, it's on iTunes. You know, the Walk on Water joint came out with Beyonce. That's not a bad track. I feel like he got more, like, more deep than... He normally does like Eminem has always tiptoed the line between deep and entertaining as far as his personal life, because while it might have always been hostility toward his mom or Kim. It was always wrapped about in a way that you don't never know if he's telling the truth, keeping it serious, whatever. And just like on, on Marshall Mathers LP too, man, he, he made amends, apologized to his mom on this one. He does it with Kim. And that's one of the better songs. I think it's called Bad Husband, along with Walk on Water. And then the other tracks that I was really into was Framed and Offended. Other than that, man, I I don't really I don't really vibe with this album too much. Um it's 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 the same stuff he been rapping about. It's the same, it's the same songs, it's the same content, just reworded in a different way. M ain't really evolved, ain't really grown, or if he has, he's not rapping about that shit. I don't maybe because when Jay started rapping about paintings and shit, nobody liked it. I mean, it's also a case of if you want my old shit, buy my old albums. Um, but me myself, man, I I do not really dig revival, and it's just I don't know, like M. He he's trying to appeal to radio. I've I bashed an album in the past for every single song sounding like it was prepared to be on radio. Every song on this album sounds like it's ready to go on radio. Uh, there's no there's no other rappers on this album. I want a rapper to have the balls to put somebody on his album that can go bar for bar with him. And it's Eminem, of course. Not that many people's gonna be able to go bar for bar with him, but put Nas on the album, put Jadakiss on the album, put Redman on the album, put Royce the Five Nine on the album. Um like every every feature is a chorus. And it's all like th that's what I'm saying. This is a pop album more than a rap album. He wanna he wanna the only way that he really come off that he's grown is when he apologized to Kim. He's got a couple fuck Trump tracks, which that's not like that's not Eminem used to be groundbreaking. And by Eminem saying fuck Trump, he doing the same shit that everybody else is doing. Like me, myself, before y'all try to label me Republican, I don't give a fuck about politics. I didn't vote. I wouldn't give a fuck if Hillary was in office or if Trump was in office. But that's just my little two cents on politics. So at the end of the day, I'm the problem when it comes to who in the White House. But what I'm saying is when Bush was in office, Eminem was like fuck Bush. M was clearly an Obama guy, and now on wax, he literally said, I'm going to shit on Trump until he say something back. So he sound like a spoiled little kid yanking on the grown folks' coat. Pay attention to me. Pay attention to me. Pay attention to me. Like, that's whack. I'm sorry. That's whack. M is one of my favorite rappers of all time, but that's whack. And everybody, everybody's going bananas over this chloroseptic. I'm not a fan of mumble rap, and M clearly mumble raps on his chloroseptic. So I don't like that shit. I'm sorry. I don't like chloroseptic. Um, like I like I told y'all, the only tracks I like is really offended and framed. Um, and M M says himself, he set his bar so high, so I feel like I have to rate his albums that much tougher. And with all that said, in my opinion. 
revival is straight. I can only give it a two out of five, and I feel like that's overly generous. Um, like it's like it's two Eminems, man. It's pre OD Eminem and it's post OD Eminem. But what did you think of revival, man? Positive, negative, somewhere in between. Let me know. Um, overall, what's your favorite Eminem album? As a matter of fact, when I throw the cards in the video, I might throw two sets of cards, pre-OD Eminem, post-OD Eminem, and you pick your favorite out of both. I would go Eminem show and recovery. But if he if he doesn't retire, if he drops another album, uh, he, he's got to switch his style. He's got to try something new. Um, I got a Jeezy review coming. I got my five favorite albums of the year also coming. Slew of movie videos. And we get into whatever hip-hop we get into next year, man. Like, subscribe, comment. Find me where you find me, man. Don't know where to find me. Watch these credits. Peace.